Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Erudispace. Today is the second lecture of Engineering Thermodynamics and today we will discuss the ideal gases and the gas laws. Before discussing the ideal gases and gas laws, we should understand what we mean by a gas. The gas is the term referred to the state of any substance of which the evaporation from the liquid state is complete. Substances like oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. may be regarded as gases within the temperature limits of applied thermodynamics. We can only understand gas once we understand what is a vapor because people do get confused between the gases and the vapors. So what is a vapor? The vapor may be defined as a partially evaporated liquid and comprises of gaseous substances with the particles of liquid in suspension. The substances present in vapor are likely to undergo further condensation or evaporation which changes in temperature and pressure. So the fundamental difference between the gas and vapor that when it comes to your gas, its evaporation from liquid state is complete. That means there is little scope for any condensation or evaporation. But when it comes to your vapor, with variation in temperature and pressure, it may be possible that the gaseous substances present may be liquefied and even the liquid substances may be vaporized. Examples of vapor are steam, ammonia, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, etc. Next, we'll discuss about the ideal gas. Ideal gas or the perfect gas has the following properties. We'll discuss the properties individually. The first is that the ideal gas remains in gaseous state under all conditions of temperature and pressure. So variation in temperature and pressure will have no bearing on the state of the ideal gas. It will continue to remain in gaseous state under all conditions of temperature and pressure. The second one is that the molecules of the gas occupy infinitesimal space. That means the volume occupied by the molecules of gas can be treated as zero. The third important property is that there is no force of attraction present between the particles of the gas. Particles only collide elastically with the walls of the container and with each other. The next important property is that the average kinetic energy of the gas particle is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. The next one is that the gases are made up of particles which are perfectly hard spheres. The last but the most important property of the ideal gas that it obeys all the gas laws under all conditions of temperature and pressure. Then we will discuss all the gas laws in details. The gas laws which will be discussed are Boyle's law, Charles law, Gay-Lussac's law, combined gas law or combined gas equation, then Avogadro's law or Avogadro's hypothesis and the last one is Dalton's law of partial pressure. First is your Boyle's law. According to Boyle's law, the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to the pressure of the gas at constant temperature. Mathematically, Boyle's law may be represented as B proportional to 1 by P when T is constant. Where B represents the volume of gas, T represents the temperature of the gas in Kelvin and P represents the absolute pressure. It may also be represented as P V is equal to K where K is a proportionality constant. It can also be represented as P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So if any of the value is not known, it can be easily calculated using this equation. Next is your Charles law. According to Charles law, the volume of a given mass of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at constant pressure. Mathematically, Charles law may be expressed as V proportional to T when P is constant, where V is the volume of gas, T is the temperature of the gas in Kelvin and P is the absolute pressure. It can also be represented as V by T is equal to K, where K is a 
constant of proportionality. It can also be represented as V1 by T1 is equal to V2 by T2. So if any of the parameter is not known, it can be easily calculated using this equation. The third gas law is your Gay-Lussac's law. According to Gay-Lussac's law, at constant volume, the pressure of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature for a given gas. Mathematically, Gay-Lussac's law may be represented as P proportional to T when V is constant. Where V is the volume of gas, T is the temperature of the gas in Kelvin and P is the absolute pressure. It can also be represented as P by T is equal to K where K is the proportionality constant. It can also be represented as P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2. So if any one of the values is not known, it can easily be cal calculated using this equation. Then we will discuss about the combined gas equation. The combined gas equation is also known as general gas equation and it is obtained by combining all three gas laws. And this equation shows the relationship between temperature, volume and pressure for a fixed quantity of gas. So Pv by T is equal to K where K is a proportionality constant. So, the Boyle's law, the Charles law and Gay-Lussac's law can be derived from this combined gas equation. This is represented by Pv by T is equal to constant or P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2. So, when temperature remains constant, this reduces to Boyle's law which is represented as P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. Similarly, when P is a constant, it reduces to V1 by T1 is equal to V2 by T2 which represents your Charles law. Similarly, when volume is constant, this equation reduces to P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2 which is your Gay-Lussac's law. Then we will discuss about the Avogadro's law or Avogadro's hypothesis. According to Avogadro's law or Avogadro's hypothesis, the total number of molecules or atoms of a gas is directly proportional to the volume that the gas occupies at a constant temperature and pressure. This law is much related to the ideal equation of the gas because it links the temperature, volume, pressure and the amount of substance for a gas. Mathematically, it can be represented as V by N is equal to constant or V1 by N1 is equal to V2 by N2, where V is the volume of an ideal gas and N represents the number of gas molecules. Then we will discuss about the Dalton's law of partial pressure. According to Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure exerted by mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressure exerted by each individual gas in the mixture. For example, the total pressure exerted by the mixture of gases A, B and C is equal to the sum of the individual partial pressure exerted by gas A, gas B and gas C. So before understanding the Dalton's law of partial pressure, we should understand what is a partial pressure. Partial pressure means it is the pressure exerted by the individual gas if it is allowed to occupy the same container. Suppose three gases A, B and C are placed in a container and then these gases are individually segregated and each gas is allowed to occupy the same volume as occupied by all the three gases put together, then it becomes your partial pressure. For example, suppose a gas is allowed to occupy the entire container which was earlier being occupied by all the three gases put together, then that becomes its partial pressure. So mathematically, the total pressure P is equal to PA plus PB plus PC. Then all the gas laws are summarized in form of 
a table for your convenience you do have the gas lots then the mathematical expression then the condition so you can see the Boyle's law being represented by PV is equal to constant where T is a constant Charles law is being represented by V by T is equal to constant where P is equal to constant gay lussacs law is being represented by P by T is equal to constant where V is a constant and combined gas law is being represented by PV by T is equal to constant where all three quantities P, V and T do vary. Avogadro's law is being represented by V by N is equal to constant when T and P are constants and Dalton's law of partial pressure is being represented as total pressure is equal to PA plus PB plus PC considering that you are having a combination of three gases. If you are having more than three gases then you may have to introduce terms like PD, PE etc. So thank you very much for listening to me. Please do like, subscribe and share my videos. Hope to see you soon.